Hello everybody, I'm Blaze Bishop. It is January 22nd, and I'm here to show you a handheld game that I just get recently got through the mail, a uh, special delivery service, and it's finally in my hands, a 1984 handheld microversus system. And it's basically just a game and watch, and what I wanted to do was to basically clean this guy up turn it on fire it up and show you a little bit of hopefully it's gonna work and not just a dud I hope not but it's just gonna be a, hopefully a quick little demonstration of this game in progress so what I want to do first is get some isopropyl alcohol and clean this screen up a little bit uh, I think I should have done that before I started so, hopefully it won't take too long to do this and just go over the screen because there are some hairline scratches and I want to clean this screen up as best as I can. The shell is a bit yellowed and hopefully I can take care of that and go from there. The inside is pretty much... It, it's nice and clean, but it needs a little bit of TLC because the contacts, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little, a little dirty. I'm just taking a little isopropyl alcohol and rubbing the contacts with it. And I'm not going to spend too much, I'm not going to spend too long on this video. Um... I have just enough time to get everything done, hopefully, and take care of it from there. So, that's that. An isopropyl alcohol isn't uh, harming anything with electronics because it doesn't want to harm, this, harm anything as far as electronics goes. It dries quickly. And that's just the button battery door, which that needs a little cleaning also. I mean, it's it's in pretty good condition from what I can see, but the uh, the screen itself needs a little cleaning. So let me see if I can just wipe this screen down a little bit. And hopefully, these little. I gotta work a little fast here. So that's that. Well, what I should just do is just go ahead and place the batteries in here. And in person, each person gets a control pad. One player is Stanley, the other player is Donkey Kong. And the idea is just to spread pesticide onto a bee and the bee would go over and sting the other sting the player that um sting one of the players i'm trying to see how these go up one goes minus down that's minus the positive minus the positive all right and same way, same, same way. So it's just like that. And put it in the battery tray, pull it, put it up. And slide it into the, through the door. Slide the door up, I mean, excuse me. And uh, let's see. Maybe I didn't do this right. Hope I did. Um, maybe I just didn't do it right the first time. If this doesn't work out, I'll just do another video. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think the the instructions. 
There we go. Put it the other way and then close it into the battery door. Yep, there we go. I hear the sound. And there it is. It works just fine. It works just fine. And let me get one of the circular controllers. I don't need to get too far into it. And then just go into game A. And I'm doing this with one hand. I don't know if you can see it. You got to get pesticide into the You gotta get pesticide from the right side, and as it's a, basically a tug of war game, and it can be a long time. Um, let's see. I'm hitting. I don't know if I'm fast enough. Uh, just really blast them. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but yeah, there's the the spray meters on top on the left to right of the player. really work fast alright and you just gotta like really turbo shoot these buggers over alright I don't know pesticide drips down from the side I don't know where that's coming from but okay One thing, the pesticide drips all the way down so I can just go. Now, I have to go from the middle and refuel my pesticide. And, I mean, I'm happy it works just fine. And what I needed, what I wanted to do, yep, there I got caught. All right, well, I didn't want to, like, stay all day on this. But as you can see, it works just fine. And I'll zoom in on it. And I'm really happy with it. What I'm going to do is there's some cosmetic scratches. You, you can barely see them. Um, but there are very few, and there's some on the side here. I might be able to buff out a little bit. So... I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm really happy that, that I got this and it came pretty fast. The seller was really nice. Um, and it came all the way from uh, Argentina. And it's come a long way. So now it come a long way into my hands. And I'm happy to show you this. And hopefully I can do more videos. And let me know what you think in the comments. And... If there's anything else you want to see me do, um, I also work on other handhelds, restoring them and putting, you know, just starting off as a beginner at it. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful afternoon, good evening, and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care and so long. <laughs> Bye. And thank you for watching.